Yo, what's up, guys? I am, uh, not an unusual man. Uh, I'm at a island right now. Um, and I'm gonna be making a video today about the USS Lexington. And apparently, it's a very haunted ship from World War II. So, yeah, see you there. Okay, I'm here at the USS Lexington. Uh, there's a replica bomb right here. It's called the MK-52. I'm not going to show it because it has, like, um, whatever they're called, license plates. And my first reaction is, holy god, this ship is huge. I mean, like, I'll show y'all in a minute. Okay, guys, this is the replica bomb I was talking about. Maybe it's a missile or something. Right here. It's huge. So, it's the MK-52. Okay. Over here is this. You can read it if you want to. Just pause the video because I'm not going to read all that. And then the Blue Ghost. It's actually called this because apparently it sunk three times and kept going. Right here is a plane, obviously, and then we got this dude right here, you can barely read that, uh, it doesn't help when I'm, when I'm zooming in, one second, whatever, and then over here, there's this guy fixing the plane, it appears, and then this seems to be something about baseball. It's the Navy baseball team. Oh. And then over here, you can read this if you want to. And then original parts from the SPD. I don't know what that stands for. But I completely forgot to mention, but apparently, apparently this place is haunted or something. Over here, this has ginormous rounds, as you can see. This is the life raft air pump. I assume this is some sort of machine gun. Um, water canteen that I will not drink out of that thing. 50 yeah, 50 caliber. Oh my god. And then over here is um, the Boeing Model M2 and a World War II pre-made or crewman air mask. Ew. Okay. Um, you can read this if you want to. Just pa actually, uh, I'm not reading all that. And then 
over here is some sort of engine. The R2800 Wasp. You can read this if you want to. This is just me not reading stuff. I have no idea what the heck this is. Uh, oh, steam engine. And then over here is a A7B Corsair Air 2. Whatever. Um, you can read this if you want to. Got that. that. All that. Okay. A lot of these people used to be on the crew of the Lexington. I'm just going through all of them. Over here is the A7E Knight Carrier Landing Trainer. There's a fan up here, so it's very loud. So I'll try to talk a little loud this time. But right here is the rainbow, whatever. Um, yeah. This looks like some sort of motor. I might be very wrong, but yeah. Um, I'll tell you if I see any ghosts. Hello, are there any ghosts in here? I don't think so. Right here is an American World War II helmet without the net on it for some reason. These are all pictures of... Hold on, Boy Scouts go here? I'm in Boy Scouts. Right now, we are on the poop deck. <laughs> Do not feed the birds. Right here is another plane. The N3N Yellow Peril. This is the lift that used to lift the planes down to storage and and get maintenance done. And then it would lift them back up to the flight deck. Our first plane right here is the F-14 Tomcat. I'm not going to read all that, but pause the video. Can I get a high shot? I might need to zoom out a bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, pause the video if you want to read that. Okay, right here is the F slash A 18 Hornet. This is Hornet. Okay. Can I get a big shot of this? Pause the video if you want to read it. Next is the F 4A uh, Pan Phantom 2 Big Ten. I don't I Anyways, read that if you want to. And now we got this plane. They folded the wings up like this to bring them in the storage. So, yeah. The next jet is the KA-3B Sky Warrior. Um, yeah, this thing is massive. Like, this thing is huge. This is a fueling plane, and this thing is where they put the fuel onto other jets. This plane, the A4B Skyhawk, has a somewhat beautiful color for a giant air machine that kills people. Next is the T3B, no, the T34B Mentor. It's very short. Next is the T334C Tur. Tour bomb, whatever. Um, it's another short plane, and it looks like this. All right, all right. We are going into a gunner. All right. Oh. 
Look at this round. Look at these rounds. This is like a... This is like a five inch round. The entire round crew was at risk of an explosive fiery death. Even so, they were highly disciplined and trained warriors who could load and fire the guns every three to four seconds, 15 to 20 rounds per minute during battle action, lasting several minutes. Imagine if you will, your 17 or 18 year old sailor reporting for duty on board left from here assignment, the five hundred gun minute. See, I was excited, Lord, they all hell breaks loose. They make the jails up to you, and they make the jails up to you. Look at all those jellyfish. 